What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode, we got ourselves a train built, and I was talking about wanting to go ahead and get into space. Now, I have mentioned before that I hate atmosphere. When it comes to space engineers, I'm mostly a space guy. I want to get into space so I could go ahead and get some more building done, uh, go ahead and get a lot more resources than I could get here on the surface, and there's also some resources that we need to gather which we cannot get on the planet so let's go ahead and get into this we're going to be using the ship that i have right behind me let's see if it works all right so this is my small ship it's not completely my design I did find an idea for the atmospheric thrusters on the Steam Workshop a long time ago. It was it was years ago. Yeah, some guy set these up on a merge block so you can actually ditch the atmospheric thrusters. Uh, atmospheric thrusters, once you start getting into space, they're just added weight. They also drain a little bit of power as well. So I want to go ahead and get rid of those and I just think it's cool to have staging which is kind of realistic to what we do in real life but if you take a look we do have a survival kit now there's absolutely nothing in the survival kit there is no cargo container there is nothing for production on this ship except for the survival kit so once we get into space we're pretty much going to have to start over uh, I already know how that's going to be I'm going to get irritated because the thing that we're going to have to start out with is solar panels. And I hate solar panels. I really hate solar panels. But we're not going to have much of a choice because the only thing that we could build from the survival kit for power is the wind turbines, which we cannot use up in space. Or at least I hope you can't. If you could use wind turbines in space, that would kind of piss me off just a little bit. Because it would be kind of dumb. But anyway, so we need to get up into space. We need to go ahead and get some resources to bring down here to the surface. One of those is uranium. What I would also like to get is platinum so we can start making ion thrusters and upgraded tools. That's going to be very important here pretty soon. So what we need to do is I need to get this thing set up. I think I have everything in a group. But... I don't think yeah I didn't set up the toolbar so we're gonna have to do that real quick let me go ahead just to make it a little bit easier let's go ahead and go into third person can I not I can't go into third person really okay fine let's go ahead and disconnect from the station and watch this thing fall and blow up okay I lied we still have landing gear, which is not locked, but it seems like everything is stable. Now, I don't have inertia dampeners on. I went ahead and shut those off because I had an eventful time when I was trying to build this thing. What I did was I just took a block straight out like this and just connected it right there, and that's how I started building. Then once I got the connector built, I just went ahead and added this connector and locked them together and everything went haywire. I should have recorded it, but unfortunately I didn't. So I kind of had to turn off inertia dampener so it wouldn't do that. So I'm actually kind of nervous to see if this thing could actually get into space. I haven't tried a small ship like this before. So I'm really hoping that we could actually get up in there. Now it does have batteries. It does have two hydrogen tanks, so we should have enough. Or at least I'm hoping. So what we need to go ahead and do is set up the uh, toolbar. So we'll hit G. We'll go to the groups. Do I not have groups set? I guess I don't have groups set up. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to do that. Let me find the atmospheric thrusters. So we'll go ahead and put those into a group. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly call it Atmo. And then we're going to need the merge blocks. 
and we're just going to call that merge just to make it quick. Uh, so the thruster is on the bottom. Let me go ahead and get out. What we have is one large hydrogen thruster and four small ones. Should be plenty of thrust. It'll probably be more than I need. But I just thought it'd be safer that way. So we already have that one set up in a group. So let's go ahead and G. Go to groups. Alright, so we're going to set this up in the order that I'm actually going to be using this stuff. So atmospheric thrusters, what we're going to do is increase thrust override and then we're going to put number two decrease thrust override all right once we get into an altitude where the atmospheric thrusters no longer work we're going to detach them but before i do that i want to go ahead and turn on the thrusters for lift so toggle block on all right once we have that done we can go ahead and take the merge block and we can shut that those off so that way the atmospheric thrusters will disconnect dropping a little bit of weight and staging then after that what we want to do is the thrust increase thrust override and decrease and that should get us into space that should be i'm i'm I know I'm forgetting some. I just can't think of what it is, but I think we're okay. So let me go ahead and connect to the station real quick. What we need to do is uh, turn on the atmospheric thrusters. The only thing that I'm worried about is because the atmospheric thrusters are not technically connected to the ship. They're connected by merge blocks. I'm kind of worried that the thruster in the nose is going to fight against them. I think that's something we're going to have to check out. So. Well, we might as well get to it. I would like to get a better angle, but I guess this is the best we're going to get. Alright, so I'm going to hit P to connect to the station so that way the magnetics don't actually pull me back. And then we'll hit P again to get out of it, and we'll go ahead and increase... Uh, well, it's too late now. Increase the thrust override. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and make sure that I am not turning the ship at all. And it looks like we're good. We're getting altitude. We're getting the speed pretty good. Uh, it says the power. We have one hour of power. But once we get rid of the atmospheric thrusters, we'll have a lot more. So let's go ahead and increase power. Get up to max speed. And then we'll just watch our speed to make sure that we are going up and not going down. So right now we're getting speed really quick. Which means we're overusing power, so we'll drop that down. Okay, that's too much. One more. There we go. That's pretty much the lowest setting that I can make a map and still gain altitude. And speed. So it seems to be working okay. We just have a long, long way to go. So if we look at the gravity, right now we're at 1G planet gravity. What we need to get down to is 0 0.05 G's. That's going to take quite some time. I think it actually takes a couple... Oh, we're losing. Hold on. Increase power. Alright, now we're getting speed. So the higher we get in the uh, atmosphere, the less power or the less thrust those atmospheric thrusters will have. So every once in a while we got to go ahead and raise the power so that way we're still getting thrust and once we have them completely maxed out and no longer gaining the speed which I think I'm actually maxed out now yep we're dropping speed let's go ahead and turn on the hydrogen okay that one's on and then we can go ahead and get rid of let me get a good angle get rid of the atmospheric thrusters all right let's go ahead and increase thrust override on the hydrogen thrusters and I think we're good that was actually a pretty good separation now the atmospheric thrusters since they no longer have power they're just gonna drop right back oh shit I'm going the wrong way shit shit okay 
people already then. Full power. Come on. I was going the wrong way. I was paying attention to the speed and I was actually going down and not up. Oops. My bad. Alright, but there we go. We can go ahead and drop that down. Oh, too much. There we go. Now, once we actually get further away from the surface of the planet, the gravity will pull us less. So we can go ahead and drop the power a little bit more as we go up. Let's see. Okay, try one more. All right, we're still dropping it. And there we go. Now we're losing speed, so we'll hit it one more. Actually, yeah, we're dropping speed pretty quick. So let's go ahead and raise the power just one more. All right, so just every once in a while, just keep switching between until you start losing speed, then go ahead and raise it back up. Now, the whole point of this is to save hydrogen. Now, we don't have a whole lot of hydrogen, so I need to make sure that I'm not wasting it. And if we do full power all the way up, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be fighting against the max speed of the game. So let's go ahead, drop it down. Right there. So yeah, just keep an eye on it. Go ahead and drop the power whenever you can. At some point, you're going to get to where it will completely disable thrust override. And that's when you can go ahead and just manually, manually fly the ship. Alright, let's go ahead and try again. There we go. Now what I want to keep an eye out for is asteroids. So I want to kind of keep close to the planet. So I think the first asteroid that we come upon is the one I'm going to be going to. So yeah, the, the ship seems to be working okay. I'm surprised. I don't do very good with hydrogen. I never did. All right. So what's our gravity? 0.25 G's. So yeah, we still have a little ways to go. And I'm not seeing any uh, asteroids yet, but that's okay. We'll be seeing hopefully pretty soon. Now, there used to be a bug. It was a very irritating bug where asteroids were not showing up. Hopefully that's something that's been fixed and we'll start seeing asteroids here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and check the power. And we're getting there. Right now we're only at 9 kilonewtons of thrust. I think you can only go down like one or two more. Yep. So we are at the lows that we can put the thrusters at right now. What I could do is I could go ahead and shut. Let me see if I can find it. I could shut that large thruster down because now we're high enough... I don't have to worry about it. So we'll shut that one off and check our speed. Okay, we're losing speed, so let's go ahead and... Oh, that was the wrong one. Six. Nope, five. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting speed again. That way I waste even less fuel. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is this is still going to take a minute. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I don't want to waste your guys' time. And it looks like we're starting to get asteroids as well. So I'm going to keep an eye out for a decent looking asteroid that's outside of the planet's gravity. Actually, I think that one right over there might be good. Yeah, I think that asteroid, if it's outside of the gravity field of the planet, I might go to it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that looks decent, so... You know what? We're going to change course. Oh, shit. Okay, I have too many gyros on this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and... Disable thrust override and go ahead and go to manual. We'll go towards that asteroid right there. 
go ahead and just get up to is my oh I don't have inertia dampers on when did I sh did I not ship turn that on well that was dumb but yeah we'll go ahead and go towards those asteroids and we'll check them out see if they're a decent and if they're outside of the planet's gravity which it looks like they are I was gonna cut but we just happened to find the asteroids and it looks like we have a bunch of asteroids in range, so we should be able to find decent resources. Alright, when you're going to an uh, asteroid, when you're flying towards it, you don't want to fly directly towards it. Just go off to the left, right, top, or bottom. So that way, if you overshoot, you don't crash. So we'll go ahead and turn off thrust over override, or <laughs> turn off inertia dampeners to save a little bit more fuel. So what it's looking like right now is I have about 20 hours of power on the batteries that I have. So that gives me 20 hours to find another energy source. Is it just me or am I, am I strafing? Yes, I am. Okay, you can stop strafing now. Okay, I think we're good. But yeah, the ship is working pretty good, and we're still at 91% hydrogen, so... Yeah, it looks like I only needed one hydrogen tank. Awesome. Well, I had more than I needed. Alright, so... Oh, and I'm already seeing a resource right there. But yeah, this, this asteroid looks pretty good. I'm seeing iron. I think that one is either silver or silicon. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get close. I do have my landing gear on auto lock. Did I? I didn't have the Atlantic gear. Damn it, Rich. You're an idiot. And the, another problem that we have is we are not out of the planet's gravity. So I won't be able to set foot on that asteroid. You know what? There's a good looking one over there. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing is flying around a little bit to try to find a nice asteroid to start on. What I'm looking for is a nice round one that's not all broken up. And that one, if it's outside of the uh, planet's gravity, we'll give it a try. If not, I guess I could try that one over there. Right now, planet gravity is at 0 0.06. It needs to be under 0 0.05 to be out of the planet's gravity. So we would have to go that way a little bit more. But we'll check this uh, asteroid out and we'll see. Alright, so we're finally outside of the planet's gravity. What we're looking for is the particles you can see that are flying past me. You might be able to see them. I don't know. But yeah, this asteroid, I don't know. It, do, it doesn't look half bad. But I'm not seeing any resources on the outside. That could be the only problem. But we do have to get a little bit closer. Maybe they just haven't rendered yet. A few pop marks, and it looks like we have a cave as well. And I really wish that I would have put lights on this damn thing. But yeah, we got ourselves a tunnel. So at some point, there is a mod that I am going to want to... Oh wow, look at the heads-up display right there. Okay, it's not realistic, but... It was actually showing the direction that I was traveling in. Yeah, it's showing me which way my momentum is going. It's not really up to date. It's kind of slow, but yeah, not half bad. That's kind of cool. I like what they did with the cockpits, man. They did a lot of work on them. All right, so it does look like we have... Is that a resource? Yeah, that is a resource. What the hell... Yeah, I think they definitely did change the... Yeah, that's silver. Well, silver is one of the things I'm going to be needing, but not right now. 
But yeah, they changed. They really did change the look of the uh, ores. Huh? That looks really weird. All right, so we have a nice little tunnel right here, which is pretty good for small ships. I want to be able to fit a large ship in here. But we can't start in the tunnel anyways. What I need to do is I need to go to the surface because the only source of power that we're going to have for probably quite some time is solar panels. So where is the sun? So now that we're up in space, I want to have some fun. I'm tired of messing around with vanilla, so we're going to add some mods. I'm going to add a lot of mods. So there was one people were recommending. Well, actually, there are many that people have been recommending. But there is some... There are some mods I don't like to use. Pirate Raider? Is that a new... Well, it's not moving. It's a station. Did they change the pirate stations too? And I saw another one kick up, but it disappeared already. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and check this rock out and see what kind of possibilities it has for building a station. All right, let's go ahead and get out of the ship. Let's go ahead and lock this thing into place. We'll turn off the thrusters so that way we're not wasting hydrogen. Uh, we do have plenty of ice on this ship, but I might want to go ahead because the tanks are almost empty and I don't want to be wasting ice. So I'll probably go ahead and shut all the hydrogen off. And unfortunately, I forgot to put landing gear on this damn thing. So we'll just go ahead and get it down to about right here. And now let's find the thrusters. Oop, if I can smell, uh, smell it correctly. If I can spell it correctly. And we'll also go ahead and turn off hydrogen tanks. So that way they won't actually suck any of the ice. All right, this, this is actually not a bad spot. Yeah, I could do something with this. Where's the sun? Okay, the sun is almost directly above us. Let me actually check something real quick. So, to set up a base when you're starting out with solar panels, what you want to do is you want to try to line your first block up with the sun. That way, yeah, I just saw it. It said Mayday. Huh? No idea. Uh, you want to try to line it up with the sun so that way you can set up your solar panels and then just bring it down to the asteroid and find a nice spot that is kind of flat for building. I think right here should be perfect. What I'm going to go ahead and do is GPS will start new from current position and we'll call this home. So yeah, that will tell me where I can go ahead and start my new base. Uh, so what we need to do is, since I do have a survival kit, we uh, should have the ability to process... Let me check. How much? Yeah, 20 hours. We should have the ability to uh, process everything to start out. What we're going to have to start out with is... Let me see if I can find it. So we have the basic refinery, I think it's called. And the basic, let's just go basic. Yep, basic assembler. Next thing we're gonna need is, uh, shit. I must be tired. I'm forgetting my English, damn it. All right, and solar panels. Now anybody who's ever watched me play knows I hate solar panels, but we're not gonna have a choice. I just hope, let's actually, actually check. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be able production. Yeah, so this is all the stuff that I can actually build with the uh, survival kit. And there is no... Uh, what's it called? The components for the batteries. 
God damn it. Power cells. God damn. Yeah, there are no power cells, but we do have solar cells. And then with hydrogen. Hydrogen engine? I haven't seen a whole lot of. That's one thing I. Oops. That's actually kind of weird, is I'm not seeing ice anywhere. And I'm not seeing any other resources. But the best place to find resources are on. Uh, oh, look at all these asteroids. Holy shit. Alright, there's one. I think that's ice. So, yeah, we already found silver. This looks like. Is that ice? That is ice. Yeah, there's some more ice. So, hydrogen engine. But I really hate hydrogen engines. Do I hate them more than solar panels? Probably not. Alright, let's check this one out and see. Yeah, there's a freighter. A Russ freighter. Well, I think we're going to be going after at some point. We're going to be going after the uh, cargo ships and see what the hell all these are. Does that mean they don't have any of my favorites anymore? All the old ones? That would suck. All right, any resources? Nope. We're definitely going to have to start out with... Oh, there's silver. And we did find some iron. So what I'm going to have to do is... We're going to start out with stone. I did see... Oh, I don't think it was this asteroid. Uh, iron is what I'll be looking for. That's what we're going to be using most of. Yeah, I'm not detecting anything. And it's kind of weird that I'm not finding any iron on the outside. I thought this was a tunnel, but apparently not. Damn. Is there really no... Here we go. Tunnel. No? No tunnel. What the hell? Yeah, they must have changed asteroids in this thing, too. Holy shit. Alright, the small stuff. What are we getting? Anything? Nope. How about you? Negative. Alright, so like I said, there's a few uh, mods that I do want to add. A lot of the ones that people rec uh, recommend, just I don't really like using. Like there is a script for uh, solar panels, so that way they automatically align to the sun. But I've used that one before. And it just completely tears your world up. Uh, it causes a lot of frame rate issues, a lot of lag. And with all the stuff that we already have built, I'm not going to be messing with that. But there is... There is another mod. Uh, it's actually a rotor that automatically turns towards the sun. So I think I'm going to try that one. I'm going to give it a try see how it works out. Uh, detector mod. There's a azimuth ore detector, which will give us more range. So I'll probably add that one as well. And probably all of the usual mods that I do add. But what the hell is that? That can't be Mars. It looks blue. Where the hell is the alien planet? I don't know. Well, we have tons of asteroids in the area. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves a starter base. Once I get that down, we need to go ahead and try to build a miner. And we need to look for uranium. Because at some point, we are going to need a ton of uranium. Then at some point, we're also going to build a mega miner. Which will get me more resources than I will ever use. We should be cool. I wonder... You know what? I want, I want to see this. Hold on. I want, to, I want to check that freighter out. And see if it's a new design or what. Oh, went past it. Come here. Holy shit, it is a new cargo ship.
Oh, does that mean they don't have the old ones anymore? That would kind of suck. All right, let's go ahead and slow down so we can try to take a look at this thing. But at least there's new ships to explore. This one's actually not half bad looking. I kind of like it. You know what? I might actually... It does have at least three large cargo containers. I think I'm going to capture it. If I ever see another one, and I might go ahead and use it as my cargo ship. Because we're going to need one. But yeah, and then there's another one that's over here, which is the Pirate Raider. I guess that's a base. Check that out and see what it looks like. Why the hell not? We got time. Well, maybe we don't. We don't have a whole lot of time, but... No, that's a ship. Oh, too fast. Yeah, that's not a station, that's a ship. Yeah, new ships. Where is the cockpit? There you are. Okay, I need to slow down. Is that the walkway? I think it's walkway. But yeah, it's using some of the new parts, the desk, the... Uh, Apparently this thing is supposed to be holographic projector. Which I want to check out. I want to see. I want to build one of those damn things to see if they actually do that. Oh, yeah. The shutters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a new block. The uh, armory. Not half bad looking. I could use it. Oh, and it has a sensor in here. So there's probably... No idea there's a toilet but yeah anyway so we have a lot of work ahead of us I want to go ahead and add some mods what I'm gonna do is in the description of future videos uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a link to uh, my mod collection and whenever we add mo or whenever we use mods we'll just go ahead and add them to the collection so that way you guys can go ahead and see which ones I'm going to be using. I need to figure out which ones I'm going to start out with yet. Uh, which ones I'm going to start out with. Uh, the detector, definitely. I'm going to start out with that one. I guess we could get the rotors with uh, automatic uh, sun detecting sensor. Whatever it is. I don't know. But yeah, I'll go through my models and just pick a few things that we can go ahead and start out with. But anyways, I'm starting to ramble because I'm tired. It's time for me to go to bed in about two hours after I upload this video, which, yeah, it's probably going to take me about an hour and a half to edit it and then another hour. What is that? Another hour or hour and a half to upload it to YouTube. So... Yeah, I'm not getting any sleep anytime soon, so that's ah, screw it. It's all right. I'll I'll sleep when I die. But anyways, next episode we go ahead and start building ourselves a starter base. Start working on a miner, hopefully. I don't know. We'll have to see how the solar panels work out. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.